welcome. In uh, last two classes, we discussed about vector spaces and subspaces. And I uh, uh, asserted it several times that the motivation behind looking into vector spaces is to uh, look into the solution of Ax is equal to b systems. And we will try to uh, look into the matrices A and also the solution X called the so, um, right hand side vector B, these three things and what are the vector spaces associated with these matrices. So, the first thing which uh, comes in this discussion is called a column space. If we look column space of A which is given as C in uh, and bracket A is a subspace formed by all columns of A. It is a subspace because it is a space within the larger space R n if uh, there are total n components in each column or R m if number of rows which are components in each column. It is a smaller space, a space contained within R n and uh, this is the space formed by all the columns of R a. So, if we add the columns of uh, C, all the columns of A, if we add the columns of A do multiplication by a scalar and uh, uh, find the resultant or from the multiplication and linear combination, those vectors also must lie to that particular space which is formed by all the columns of A. This is a subspace. So, this contains all the linear combinations of A of columns of A. So, if I we can look into an example that A matrix is given as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0. So, the columns are member of uh, each column, we can identify the columns. This is C 1, C 2, C 3. Each column is a vector and they are member of R 3. And um, so, any vector which is a member of column space can be expressed as a vector which is a linear combination of these three column vectors. This they may be in all vector this, this can be entire R 3 because R 3 is also a subspace of R 3 or this can be a plane a subspace of an of R 3 is either a plane uh, either R 3 or a plane or a line passing through origin or the origin itself. So, it can be the entire R 3 or it can be smaller subspaces also. But any vector which belongs to column space, we must be able to explain express it as a linear combination of the column vectors where uh, this alpha, beta and gamma are arbitrary constants. That is by changing the value of alpha, beta, gamma, we can get different vectors and infinite vectors are member of a subspace or a vector space all these vectors we can find out. Why is it important is that if I think of solving the equation A x or is equal to b. Let me start with the equation A x is equal to b. What we will get x 1 into and this is x 1 x 2 x 3 are the solutions 1 4 7 plus x 2 into 2 5 8 plus x 3 into 3 6 0 is equal to the matrix B 1, B 2, B 3. So, B this vector sorry vector B 1, B 2, B 3. This B vector fall forms the follows the rule of the column space of being a member of column space of A. That means, B is also a member of column space of A and then only we will say that A x is equal to B has a solution. If A x is equal to B does not have a so any solution, then B is not a member of column space of A. We will look into it, but this uh, the idea of column space is extremely important in terms of solving A x is equal to B, because the B vector itself is a linear combination of the columns of A when we write A x is equal to B and B is a member of the column space of A. That is why column space is important to discuss. So, we take another vector A 1 3 5 7 2 4 6 8 and the column space becomes 
any vector which belonging to column space is alpha into 1 3 5 7 plus beta into 3 4 6 8. Now, there are two vectors in four dimensional space using two vectors I can think of a plane only and it does origin is origin a member of it yes origin is a member of it if I use alpha is equal to beta uh, alpha is equal to 0 beta is equal to 0 this gives me origin. So, 0 0 oh, sorry. 0 0 0 0 is equal to 0 into 1 3 5 7 plus 0 into 2 4 6 8 here at least in this case. So, this is also a member of column space and column space has 0 vector inside it also. So, interestingly the vectors of column space C A they are also member the vectors of any vector in column space is member of R 4 here, because this is they, this any column is a member of real coordinate space R there are 4 components. However, it has a dimension 2, because with 2 vectors I can think of a plane. So, it should they should belong to a plane. So, here the column space is a 2 D space, but the vectors have 4 components. So, the vectors are also member of a ve larger vector space which is R 4. Okay. We will uh, see another example like if I see this matrix 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 9 uh, 4 and 7, 8, 15. Now, what we can see is that that look into the columns C 1, C 1, C 2, C 3. C 3 is equal to 3, 9, 15 is equal to 1, 4, 5 plus 2, 5, 8, uh, 1, 4, 7, sorry, 1, 4, 7 plus 2, 5, 8. So, C 1 plus C 2. So, C 3 can be expressed as a combination of C 1 and C 2. Now, if I try to write that column space any vector which belongs to column space of A is a combination of say alpha 1 C 1 plus alpha 2 C 2 plus alpha 3 C 3, we should write it as alpha 1 C 1 plus alpha 2 C 2 plus alpha 3 alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 are the multipliers scalar multipliers C 1 plus C 2. So, this will be nothing but alpha into C 1 plus beta into C 2. So, if one column is linear combination of two other columns, then the column space becomes a space formed by linear combination of those two columns, which is forming the third column here. So, we can write that column space of A is uh, uh, the space in which can be expressed as linear combination of first and second column, because third column is also linear combination of first and second columns. So, not necessarily that I have to uh, write all the columns and then get their linear combination. If I see one column is can be formed by linear combination of few other columns, I will take those few other columns only and say that the column space is column space vector can be formed by linearly combining those. Uh, uh, those those uh, vectors which are constituting the third vector also as the third co uh, vector is linear combination of first two. So, nevertheless a column space is the space if we go back to the previous de 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 description column space is, is a space subspace formed by all columns of A. So, ge in general sense we should be able to write a column space vector as a linear combination of the columns of a particular matrix A. In case one uh, column is linearly uh, dependent on other two columns, we will write only these two only, but in general it is we have to linearly combine all the columns and any vector must lie there and this is a subspace. This is a subspace because origin must lie on it we have seen 
the adding 0 uh, multiply uh, making alpha beta gamma 0 takes me back to the origin also. So, if A is 5 into 5, C A is subspace of R 5, why? 5 into 5 means 5 rows and 5 columns. So, if I have A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, minus 2, 1, something like this. So, there are 5 rows and 5 columns and each column the number of elements in each column is the number of rows 5. So, if C A is 5 into 5, 5 is the number of components in each column. Therefore, each column must belong to R 5. So, column space is a subspace of R 5 if A is of order 5 into 2, still we have 5 rows that means each column has 5 components and it is a member of R 5. If A has an order 3 into 5, now my A is say 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 0, 9, 10, 1, 3 into 5, 3 into 5 I am sorry, 3 rows and 5 columns. 2, 4, 1, 0, 0, 1. So, each column here will is belongs to R 5, R 3, because there are 3 components in each column vector. So, each column vector is a member of R 3. So, the number of rows determines how many components each column have and what is the real coordinate space, whose subspace is the column space, what is the order of the real coordinate space. Similar to column space, there is row space. Row space is basically the space subspace formed by all the rows of a matrix. For example, if I have a matrix A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, the row space vector, any vector belonging to row space will be a member of alpha into 1, 2, 3 plus beta into 4, 5, 6. So, you are always writing the vectors as a column vector or vertically. Therefore, we uh, when we discuss about row space, we also consider it to be column space and whose column space will be the row space? Row if the row of a matrix is column of its transpose matrix. So, we will say that row space is the column space of the transpose matrix, row space of the of A is column space of A transpose. So, if A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, any vector in uh, row space of A and this is written as exactly as column space of A transpose, that is the notation to write row space also, is obtained as column space of A transpose is any vector belonging to column space of A transpose is linear combination of vector uh, row 1, row 1, so this is R 1, R 2, R 3, they are not row 1, row 2, row 3, this is R 1, R 2, R 3, they are row 1 transpose, row 2 transpose and row 3 transpose because the rows are now written as the columns here. So, similar to column space there exist also a subspace formed by the rows of one particular matrix. And what should be the uh, dimension of the subspace? That depends on how many rows are uh, linearly independent that means, if uh, none of the rows can be expressed as li linear combination of other uh, rows then it is the, the dimension is actually the number of rows 
in other case we it will be less by the number of rows which are linearly dependent on other rows and which what is the so all the row vectors belong to r3 here so you also have to see to which real coordinate space this row vector belong to and this will be very similar as the column vector if a has order m into n row space is a subspace of r n n is the number of columns that is the number of components in each row so a row vector row space sub uh, subspace the row vector space or the subspace formed by rows is a subspace of r n or the uh, real dimension real coordinate space with n components because n is the number of columns here if a is 5 into 5 column space of a transpose which is row space this is expression for row space row space is written as column space of a transpose is a subspace of r5 in 5 into 2 the m m into n n is equal to 2 here so row space is subspace of r2 3 into 5 n is equal to 2 here row space is a subspace of r5 and this becomes uh, the important thing what we are discussing uh, few slides back that x is equal to b is only solvable when b lies in the column space of a the general expression of column space of a is the columns of a the columns of a multiplied with some arbitrary coefficient will be a column space vector and if this holds then only a x is equal to b is solvable or if a x is equal to b is solvable then I will take each column of a and multiply it with one coefficient which is now my solution and uh, the sum is the b vector. So, b is a member of column space of a and then if we can think of b and b prime both lie in column space of a because column space is a subspace and uh, what is the uh, 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 real coordinate space to which column space is a member is r m, m is the number of rows that is the dimension of the real coordinate space to which column space is a subspace. Now, column space is a subspace so it should have infinite vectors inside it with different choices of alpha, beta, gamma we should be able to find out different vectors. Now, if uh, we consider column space there is a vector b x is equal to b we will get a vector b with some x prime some other set of coefficients we will get another column space vector b prime. So, if b and b prime are two column space vectors b and b prime both lie in column space of a and we can write a x is equal to b and a x prime is equal to b. So, b plus b prime must also lie in column space of a and that is the definition of any vector uh, space or subspace that if we add two vectors the resultant must also lie there. Therefore, <coughs> we if a x is equal to b and a x prime is equal to b prime the uh, a x plus x prime is equal to b plus b prime and b plus b prime must also lie in column space of a. And the other one that if I multiply a column space vector with a co with some constant it will be again a column space vector. So, that can also be seen that if x is equal to b we multiply this both side by c. So, c a x is equal to c b and c b is also a member of column space or we can write a into c x c can come in this, this is a constant come inside a c x is equal to c b. So, we if b is a member of column space c b is also a member of column space this is I think should write it down this is column space of a not c a. Now, what will happen if c is equal to 0 and 0 vector is member of any sector subspace. So, 0 is also a member of column space of a. Therefore, when we will think about solving a x is equal to 0 then 0 must be a member of column space of a or a x is equal to 0 must have a solution because 0 is always a member of column space of a. 
So, if I write a x is equal to 0, this 0 should always lie to the column space of a. So, we can always find some x by which I can combine the column space vectors and get a 0 vector. It can be all zeros or it can be something else. Zero vector is always a member of any vector subspace, so zero is a member of column space of A. Therefore, A x is equal to zero will always have a solution because I'll be always able to find out some x. X can be all zero or x can, can may, may, may be x not all zero, but some x I'll be always able to find out, which will give me a solution to x is equal to zero. If column of A are such columns are such that they cannot be they can be linearly combined to get a resultant 0 x can be non 0 or if I will probably see that if if x is equal to 0 A x is equal to 0 always. So, x is equal to 0 is always a solution of x is equal to 0 because z I am writing that if A has the columns x 1 into c 1 plus x 2 into c 2 plus x n into c n, where c are the columns of uh, a matrix is equal to 0. So, I can always put x, x 1, x 2, x 3 up to x n 0 and can get this done. So, x is equal to 0 will always have a solution a x is equal to 0. However, on top of that if the columns of a are such that they can be linearly combined to get a resultant 0 x can be non 0. How is it that x 1 c 1 plus x 2 c 2 plus x 3 c 3 is equal to 0. We can think of x 1 c 1 is equal to 0 the column first column multiplied by some x plus second column multiplied by some x plus the third column multiplied by some x and they coming back the resultant is coming back to the origin sorry the resultant is coming back to the origin. So, then we can have a non zero solution. Now, Interestingly, I can magnify all the vectors here. The same coming back to 0 can be done if I multiply some constant with all the in both left hand side and right hand side or if I multiply some constant with x 1, x 2 and x 3, I will still have a similar triangle which is finally coming back to 0. So, uh, in a in pictorially this can be a case like this that this is column vector c 1 multiplied with some other coefficient x 1 into alpha say plus column vector c 2 multiplied with some other coefficient plus column vector c 3 multiplied with some other coefficient will again be 0. So, if I can find out one set of x 1, x 2, x 3 through which I which are non 0 I can write uh, the condition is that x 1, x 2, x 3 are not all 0 some of them at least two of them are non zero. If I can write this then I can find out also another x 1, x 2, x 3 just multiplying this by a coefficient which will also give me a non zero solution. So, if x 1, x 2, x 3 is equal to 0 alpha into x 1, c 1 plus x 2, c 2 plus x 3, c 3 is equal to 0 or a alpha x is equal to 0. So, if x is a solution if x is a x non, non zero x is a solution then alpha x is also a solution and for different values of alpha we will get different solutions. So, finally, we can get infinite solutions. So, what we are getting out of it that there can be one case that a x is equal to 0 has a only solution x is equal to 0. The com columns cannot be linearly combined to get 0 I multiply 0 with all the column vectors and get back 0. There is another solution that I can multiply some non zero number with some of the columns and the resultant gives me 0. And then I can multiply something with the multiplier and again the resultant will be 0. So, 
the multiplier is the solution here. So, I can have different multipliers and get different solutions for which x is equal to 0 is there, if there is some non-zero x for which x is equal to 0. So, we can get infinite solutions in case there is any non-zero solution x solution of x is equal to 0, a x is equal to 0, if x is not equal to 0 vector, it has infinite solutions. Why is not it for 0 vector? Because if x is a 0 vector and I multiply anything with 0 vector, it will still remain a 0 vector. So, it is a single solution only. If columns of A are such that they cannot be linearly combined to get a net resultant 0, A x is equal to 0 is only possible when x is equal to 0. If A x is equal to 0, the like I uh, we are see, seeing here that these are the column space, these are the vector column vectors, there are these two columns and they are combined uh, finding a plane. And the third column is out of it three columns are there, two columns lie in a space and the third column is out of uh, in a plane and the third column is out of the plane. So, I whatever combination I take of these two columns that will go to a uh, that that will go, uh, go to a uh, and this this like sorry whatever combinations I take of these two columns they to this will not cancel this component. So, I have to have some non, I, I have to multiply this by this with 0 to get a uh, x is equal to 0 solution as the resultant. So, in this case there is only one solution because when x is equal to 0 is a solution of it I whatever co coefficient I multiply with it will always be alpha into 0 is equal to 0. And now, we come to an interesting definition called null space. Null space is a of a matrix consists of all vector x such that a x is equal to 0. So, all solutions x of a x is equal to 0 will give me null space. There can be single solution x is equal to 0 or if the columns can be combined with by multiplying them with certain uh, cons constants to get a 0 solution, then x is not necessarily 0. However, be it 0 or be it many solutions, the entire set of the solutions, the space that is formed by the solution of a x is equal to 0 is called the null space. And this is denoted by n of a. Null space of m into n matrix is a subspace of R n because the number of the null space vectors are multiplied, each component of null space vector is multiplied by one column. So, number of column is equal to number of components in null space vector. And therefore, null space becomes a subspace of R n as n is the number of components there. n is the number of component columns or number of elements in a row. Oh, sorry. Column space is a subspace of R m and null space is a subspace of R n that is important to note down that null space is it, it should not confuse null space with column space. Null space is the now from the space inside the matrix we came out of a subspace outside the matrix that this multiplied with the matrix is giving me 0 and all these solutions a x is equal to 0 all solution of a x is equal to 0 is also a subspace. Why is it a subspace? we can see it in a while that if we do a x is equal to 0, if I write sorry, if I write a x is equal to 0 and uh, multiply c with x, a into c x is also 0 or if I have a x is equal to 0 and a x 2 is equal to 0, 2 null space solution a x 1 plus x 2 is also 0. So, a x forms a vector subspace and also a into 0 is equal to 0. So, origin is a member of the null space also. So, this is a 
vector space x now forms a vector subspace and this subspace has dimension as a mem in or components n and they are member of real uh, coordinate space of dimension n and column space we have seen it earlier is a member of dimension uh, uh, real coordinate space of dimension m. So, we will explore more details on null space in subsequent classes and finally, we should equip ourselves to find out the null space. How does a null space look like? What are the general expression of vectors in null space or if we can find few vectors in null space and linearly combine them, we should find the other vectors in null space. So, in next class, we will see how to find the null space vector or uh, how to find the null space for a um, uh, for any general matrix say x is equal to 0. And we will also see how to find null space for rectangular matrices, because uh, for Gauss elimination or LU decomposition type of things, we restricted ourselves to square matrices. But for the cases where number of equations and number of solutions are not same, still all the solution is equal to 0 will give me a x is equal to 0. So, null space exists there. And it is also possible to have non-zero vectors in null space in case of rectangular matrices. So, we will see null space for any general matrix, how to obtain null space and we will proceed in the course. Thanks.